On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a DX Seiken Sword Driver. So hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and welcome to the first day of my 12 days of Sabermas special. I'm going to take, we're throughout the 12, throughout December 12th till Christmas Eve, I'm going to take a look at 12 Saber, Saber themed toys I currently own in my possession. So we're going to take a look at the Seiken Sword Driver. So, you have the contents, you got the Sword Driver itself, the Seiken, the Kai Ken Rekka Emblem, the Brave Dragon, the Brave Dragon One Ride Book, two belt straps, and a belt stopper. So let's take a look at the One Ride Book. All right, so let's take a look at the Brave Dragon One Ride Book. So you can tell these are the key collectibles of Kamara Saber, which are these are which are books. So yes. So with that done, let's take a look at what you get from a book. So you got the cover page, we got the spot, the spine. In the back of it, of course, we got the speaker, and we got this little opened book looking symbol, which is called a read mark, which that'll come into play when we get to the, when we get to the Seiken. You got these little black little black pieces that look like pages. Um, and yeah, so let's take a look at the nice cover art. So we got Brave Dragon on top. And of course, we got this nice wonder language wonder language here, which now this is gonna be this language is gonna be prominent throughout like a lot of Conrad Saber toys. Now if you look at it from this angle, it looks like nonsense. But in order to decipher it, you have to turn it vertically, and now they resemble English letters. So you can see it says Brave Dragon on there. And of course, right here, it says Common Rider down there. And of course, this, this shows you that this... Well, okay. Well, every one of our book is going to have an indicator on the bottom, which shows you what slot this book goes into, well, goes into the Sword Driver. So this is basically a mythical beast-based one to book, or legendary beast. So, as we know, there are three categories of one right books. The first being, you know, mythical creatures. The second one being living creatures. And the third one being based off of folk tales or fairy tales. So, yeah. So, let me move the tab. Okay. Now, and, now of course, there's three ways you can actually do some... There are actually three sounds when you press this button. If you do a light press, it'll play the title of the book. Now, if you push it all the way in, it'll sound like an activation sound. And when you let it go, you'll get you'll get a deactivation sound. And of course, we can now we can open this book up to the story page. And it's kind of hard to see, but in every Wonder Boy book, there's a little button in there. And what that does is when you open up the story page, it'll play a synopsis of the book. So here's this here's the synopsis. So that's the synopsis. And of course, now I think every Wonder Woman book is going to have the same text, but this is basically a preface, if you will, because the word, you can see it says the word Jobun on the top, which means preface. So, yeah. And of course, this, this is the story page, which we've got a nice illustration there. And of course, we've got some labeling, which we'll decipher that now. So we got Brave Dragon on top, round eyes, sharp nails, flame, and speaking of flame, there's actually flame written across the bottom of the flame de detail. We got right here. And of course, on the back of the dragon's neck, it says Brave Dragon written... Well, repeat, whoops, sorry. Okay, gotta be careful with the hello button. Um, so you can see it says Brave Dragon around the back of the dragon. And of course, there's a QR code, which you can scan it with if you have a QR reader on your phone. It'll take you to a... It'll take you to the website where it shows all the Wonder Ride books that have been debuted and released during the show's run. So, now basically there is some Wonder text or Wonder language here, which basically it translates to some Japanese um, phrase. Well, something in Japanese, I should say. So, yeah. So that's it for the Wonder Ride book. All right, let's take a look at the Seiken Sword Driver itself. We're gonna take a look, we're gonna take a look at the belt straps first. So basically they're all, they're red color and um, any of you eagle eye viewers out any eagle eye viewers out there, um, these are pretty much just straight up repaints of the belt straps that came with the gamer driver from Camera X Aid. Just all red. So yeah. And of course here's the belt the belt stopper. Not much, just a piece of plastic. So yeah. And of course here's the buckle. Um So, of course we've got all this nice wonder language on this on the side. Of course we can so I think it says, uh, I might, might butcher this, I'm, I apologize in advance. Um, so it says, 
Kokuni hon wo sa sashi chikara wo kai ho. Which, I might be, my chance is incorrectly, but I think it says, insert the books to unleash their power. I think that's how it's translated. So. But of course, there's some more in here which, with some nice gold chrome, I'll say. And, and this says, se iken wo hik, hikin, hikin uke. Actually, hikin uke. Which basically, which basically means unsheath the holy sword, since Seiken does mean holy sword. So basically, it's literally giving instructions on how to use this thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And speaking of Seiken, here's the here's the main uh, course of the toy. I mean, the main thing. And this is where all electronics are played from. All the what well, you said. This is where all does all the work for the um, electronics, if that makes sense. But so here's this. Whoa. Okay, I'm just the camera. Um, you can see we got. Of course, inside the uh, blade, we got like some wonder text, just all randomized. It's just they're just random letters. That's all. It doesn't really translate to anything. And of course, here's the read mark, which does play a huge role in all in the in the toy line. Of course, this is the point where you put an emblem in there. And here's the back. Of course, we got the speaker, and we got the battery compartment. And this takes three AAA batteries, on off switch, trigger, you know it. So yeah. And of course, here's the emblem. And this is basically the Kai Kenreka emblem. And this is basically this is basically Kamer Saber is used. Well, I'd say there's a total of three emblems. Cause we know that so far, um there are three riders that actually use the say the sword driver. And of course they each one have their own unique emblem. You know, that attaches to the Seiken. So And of course here's the emblem, the symbol of Saber, which resembles a cross slash. And on the sides we got flames coming out. So, yeah. And of course on the back, there's a read mark, there's a little read mark symbol there, and inside there is a chip inside there. So, so with that, so we got that done. We could turn this on and hear the sounds from the Seiken. So because here it says the name of the toy. And if you pull the trigger, it plays that. Um, and of course you can take the emblem and scan it with this. You can see it says Kai Kenreka, and you got the Kai Kenreka. So this is basically, you know, this is the primary weapon of Saber. So yeah, and of course, when you pull the trigger, you hear like some flames going off. And of course, you can insert this into the sword driver buckle. You get the little sound when you, um, you get the sound when you um, insert the thing, like a little kick, which is actually pretty neat. So yeah. Now of course you know how the how the bell assembly works. Basically put the right one here, put the left um strap here, and make sure you do make sure you, before you put these all together, we're gonna put the belt stopper in first. Okay. Alright, and then put the belt stopper oh over these two bits. And there we go. They have the Seiken sword driver all assembled, but but for, just for the future reviews, I'm actually just going to leave these off because hey, I don't care for the belt strands, the belt straps, I should say. So yeah, all right. So now we're going to we're going to get into the transformation of Saber. Now let's do the transformation process. So now you don't have to press the button in order to say the title, but let's just go ahead and do the synopsis. Then go ahead and put the book in the left slot, and this is where the Mythical Beast Wonder Eye books go in. So you got the standby music playing. And to complete the transformation, draw the sword. And just like that, we complete the transformation of Kamara Saber Brave Dragon. Now, from here, we can do what's called a push attack. It's basically when you push this page all the way in to play the to say the title announcement. And 
Now make sure you do this without the Seikin inserted because it will play the standby music when you do that. So don't, just make sure you do it without the Seikin inserted. But with the Seikin inserted, you get to do two finisher attacks. The first one is the Rider Kick. And what you do is you press the trigger. Well, make sure you, make sure you sheath the sword and then pull the trigger. Here it says Hisats Doka, Dokuha. And then press the trigger again. All right, so that's the rider kick of Sabred Ray Dragon. Now I'm going to do the what? I'm going to do the sword attack, and basically all you do is press the trigger, and then draw the sword. So you got the Satsugiri, so for Saber Brave Dragon. And yeah, that's pretty much it, what it can do on its own. Now there's actually one more function I need to cover. Now this thing can actually scan one red books, and this can scan up to three books at a time. So, so let's do, let's have it if you scan this thing one time. So make sure, again, make sure you make sure the, um, the remark is in contact with the scanner. And press the trigger. So you got the Shutoku Isen. Now if you scan it two times. And so you got Shutoku Nisen, which basically, I think the Nisen part means two books, I think, which makes sense. Now I'm gonna do it three times for the for the best one. Well the yeah, I think the final one, so Alright, so you got a unique phrase there. So you already got three slashes, so the three book so you got the three uh the three book slash, whatever it's called. And uh yeah. So I think that's pretty much it for the um, the Seikan itself. And that's it. So overall, the Seikan Sword Art is a highly recommended um, toy if you are if you want to get into, you know, Kamara Saber. And of course, you want to get into these Wonder Ride books, which are going to be the main collectibles of the whole season. And of course, it's a lot of fun because... Because, you know, this whole thing revolves around reading. Because, like, when I saw, when you, when I scanned the, um, one red book into the Seikan on, on the, on the tip of the blade of the Seikan, it's basically, it's reading the book. So, which is kind of a main theme of this whole gimmick, is reading, which makes total sense. And I do like that. I mean, it's quite an ingenious idea, too. And, like I said before, this, this whole wonder language, this whole wonder text here, is going to be very prominent across, like, I think every single toy for Kamara Saber. But hey, that's fine, because it's pretty fun to decipher, you know, the text. Especially from the One Right books, too. And again, it's going to be pretty fun. So, yeah. So this concludes day one of the 12 days of Saber Miss. And we'll stay tuned tomorrow for day two. So, I'll catch you next time.